Now to the CRI Film Review. CRI Film Critics John Hoffman and A.J. Hodgman bring us their review of Green Lantern, rated PG-13 for intense sequences of sci-fi violence and action. It's the classic tale of good clashing with evil as the screen is filled with green in Warner Brothers' Green Lantern. The ring, it chose you. Use its power to defend our universe. Become one of us. Become a Green Lantern. John, we both know very little about the Green Lantern comic series and its history. But with a little bit of research, we were able to find out that Green Lantern comics date back to the 1940s and started as an ongoing series. The comic was canceled and then rebooted a couple times up to the present day, giving the story for the silver screen a lot to work with. With all that said, the movie tried to cover a lot of ground and lost its focus during the 105 minute runtime. The ring turns thought into reality. Its limits are only what you can imagine. The sword of human. Remember, your enemy is not gonna play fair. Green Lantern is a story of will versus fear, but to get that point across, it jumps all over the place. The man with no fear will wear the ring. Great, Ryan Reynolds <laughs> is our hero. The villains, a crazy scientist. Pete played by Peter Sarsgaard. And a very scary space octopus that you feeds off of fear. Dreadlocks, something like that. <laughs> Beware my power. If you compare this film to some of the other comic book movies out there, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman, it doesn't come close to fitting in. It gives you no reason to care about the characters or what's happening to them. And I feel that the Green Lantern doesn't have that cool factor that a superhero should have. Everybody knows the oath. I pledge allegiance to a lantern that I got from a dying purple alien. John, I don't think this is a good film. I wasn't really interested in anything that was happening, and Ryan Reynolds just doesn't make a good superhero. To me, he'll always be that lifelong bad college student, Van Wilder. Not worth the price of admission. It is a weird movie, and it jumps all over the place. Too many characters, too many subplots. I'll say it's not worth the price of admission, but I will say the visual effects were fun. Fun and green. <laughs> Thanks guys, Green Lantern plays at Penn Center Theater through next week and is joined this weekend by Disney Pixar's latest release, Cars 2.